So let me start off first by saying I love gear wrench tools. Why do I love gear wrench tools? Because the price is good, the quality is mostly good. Some, you know, their wrenches quality definitely the best in my opinion. The the sockets are good. I actually have a lot of gear wrench non-ratcheting wrenches which I prefer over over more expensive and of course cheaper wrenches. Um, but we're not talking about that today. We're going to talk about this gear wrench torque wrench. This is a quarter inch torque wrench. It's actually no, it says made in the USA. Look at that. Unbelievable. So I bought this to replace a snap on sort of equivalent wrench because this wrench is $90. Snap on version. 300, 400, 200. You know, I can, I can, if this breaks, I can buy four of them for the same price as one would cost me from Snap on. And torque wrenches, as you know, even the $400, even the $400 ones, they don't have lifetime warranty. So that's, that's, that's pretty important. <clears throat> so say this one breaks in a year, and I have a Snap on version that breaks in a year. Either way, in a year, I'm gonna have to spend the money to buy a whole nother wrench. So, in my opinion, I would rather buy four of these for the same price as one snap-on if the warranty is exactly the same. So, let's talk about the uh, readability, which is very important on torque wrenches. The readability of this wrench isn't great. Just being honest. Sure, it looks nice and clear right here, but that's pretty tiny. It doesn't come with any paint on the markings, so this is the way it comes right out of the box. And uh, it's pretty easy to read when you first get it, if you, especially if you work in a well-lit shop. It's pretty easy to read. The problem is, is that maybe it's in the quality or whatever, but as you use this and you start twisting this things up, the torque markings in your most commonly used spots, like say on this quarter inch, on this quarter inch um, torque wrench, you know, on average I go up to about 110 inch pounds, occasionally more, but usually if it's more than that, I'll step up to a 3 8 So your markings from zero to whatever your most commonly stopped torque range is, it ends up kind of scratching and smudging up this a little bit, and each time it makes it a little bit harder to read. So it's not impossible to read. This wrench is actually about I would say about a year and a half old, maybe two years max, and you can still read them. As you can see, they're still readable, but when you're in a shop that's not very well lit, you kind of got to get just the right angle to read it. Other than that though, I've been happy with this wrench. I have compared it to a, a snap-on equivalent from a co-worker, and the torque, even, I've never calibrated this wrench since I've had it, and uh, within probably an inch pound or two of a calibrated snap-on version so for about ninety dollars on Amazon anyway you just really can't beat the quality uh, for the price now you can get a lot better quality um, the snap-on version of this feels a lot more of a higher quality but you're not necessarily paying you know, you don't really need to pay $300 more or $200 more for something that's slightly better quality. Uh, accuracy seems fine for what it is. Uh, 30 inch pounds seems to be 30 inch pounds. Uh, 110 inch pounds seems to be 110 inch pounds. Uh, the only thing I could really say other than that about this wrench is that just like with any torque wrench, after you're done using it, you want to back you want to back this all the way down to zero because the spring inside will wear out and could potentially break. So like I said, I've had this for close to two years now and I've always backed it all the way down to zero after use and it is still working fine. So all in all, I'd recommend it for even a daily use.